Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it's where thing, blah, 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 things we're making Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. And it's blanket month, which means it's Michelle hasn't hardly done anything month. I just don't, I don't want blankets. I made this tiny little lapgan thing. I mean, I go like this, but it was really like, it was barely big enough for a lap to put out in the car. Um, and that was corner to corner. And I was like, okay, I'm done. And I did a corner to corner, um, probably, probably like a crib size, like, like a th good throw um, for my granddaughter. And I was really impressed with myself for doing that. And I did a fairly decent sized blanket for my grandson with corner to corner. But every other attempt I've made at blankets has not gone very far. The exception, and it doesn't feel like a blanket because it's round, is the round blanket that I have made good progress on. But now we're at the point where it takes like 15 feet to go around the whole circle, which if you're doing like a five foot wide Row, that's three rows and so it feels like forever it's not a lot of crocheting really but still to do three rows across five feet feels like a lot when you're doing it around a circle especially if you're doing special stitches special stitches always stay stay takes longer I am on the third round of the 10th clue, and this round, I started it this morning just to see what it would be like. It's gonna be a super easy round. It's pretty much double crochets and a single crochet, like five double crochets. It's just where you put them in a single crochet. So that's all I'm doing around. I already got like this far around this morning. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish that clue um, pretty quickly, today or tomorrow, depending on what else I work on and stuff. So I'm really excited about it, because making progress. I don't know if I'm going to have it 10 in time for the mystery yarn challenge, um, but I'm really excited. I should be able to show you a finished glue really soon. So that's going well. I have a really hard time picking this up and working on it. So I've already showed you this one. Now, first of all, that's what it looks like. It's not exactly a square, but it's not too bad. I could win and take a lot of stretching to get it to a square. And then I'd feel good about it. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I've got myself a square. Not too bad. Yeah. Hold on. Let me, let me drop it on the floor. Um, okay, I'm gonna put this here. This one, I haven't done much on it. Why did my problem is, Can you see, let me put the orange one in front. It will be easier to see. I'm gonna line the edges up over here. Do, 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 do. Do you see that over here on the side? The sides lined up, I lined up the edges. They're lined up. I'm gonna make sure it's like lining up the bottom too. That way you can really see, like they're lined up. It's all lined up. And it's like, look at that. It's so much bigger than the orange one. And yeah, I can stretch this one to match. But then, like, if I make the blue one square, I would have to stretch this, like, way far. And that seems awkward. And <sighs> this is a seed stitch. I didn't think that, I thought they were the same kind of yarn. But for whatever reason, this blue yarn is actually thicker. I don't think that you can really see. I don't know. That's going to be blurry, but I see they don't, like, look much different. There is a slight feel difference to them, but they don't really look different. Honestly, they don't even feel that much different. So, I don't know if that's why, like, it just, 
It doesn't help that this one said cast on 31 stitches and this one said cast on 32 stitches. So that didn't help. And I guess when you look at my things at the bottom, let me put my bottom edge together. The cast on, but even the cast on, it doesn't feel as different in length, but the seed stitch just is really fat comparatively. And that's bugging me. And then knowing that some of the other ones are like 33 stitches, my OCD is going, this blank is not going to work. And I think that is the biggest thing. The seed stitch is a little bit on the slower side because you were going back and forth, pearl, pearl, whatever. It's like doing a ribbing, but you get your, your pearls and your um, knits are off center from each other. Um, oh, this is what I want to do. Throw it away. I just want to toss it. So, I was so excited about it, and then I got in the second one, and I'm like, it's not working right. I am I have no desire, no desire to keep working on it. So, yeah, I think I'm just not going to worry about it. I think I'm scrapping it. Halfway through February, one and a half squares, and just finding that I don't like the way that this is going. Um, I do kind of still want to make a blanket. Um, I want to make like a Boggy Creek blanket to give away. Um, and we still have a couple of weeks left in February, so I'm probably going to figure something else, else out. Probably... Um, I don't really like granny squares that much, and I'm going to save granny squares for granny square month. Um, but I might do a corner to corner because that's a fairly fast blanket, and it would feel like, oh, I'm doing a blanket. I could still do it for Boggy Creek because then I can, I know how big I need to make it and all that stuff. So I might do that. We'll see. Watch, just stay tuned for next week and see what I cho choose to do. Um... That's it. Not really much to say. It's been a hard week to get anything done. Like my Crojo and Nitjo. Was that a thing? Nitjo? They're just like blah. So, um, which is part of why I didn't do a Whip Wednesday. Also, I was exhausted. Like seriously tired. So, that's where we're at. Um, hopefully next week I can have some progress. And I should have Clue... 10 of the multivalence done, which means I have two more clues. Uh, I'm so excited to have that done. It's so pretty. It really is so pretty and it's so soft. It just takes so long to work around the circle. Um, it's a sense of accomplishment. It takes so long to get around that it doesn't feel like as much of a sense of accomplishment until it's actually done. Where smaller rounds, it's like, oh, I finished it. Oh, I finished it. Even when you're doing a five foot row, it's like, oh, I finished it. But to say, ooh, I finished three rows, that like takes longer to get to that finish line. And that's what it's like going around. Anyway, remember to let your light shine through your creations and whatever they be. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!